Hey guys, welcome to this tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing. So in this specific course that I would be teaching, I would be mainly concentrating on Cal Linux. Besides, if you have some prerequisites like uh, basic fundamentals of Linux or if you know what programming is or if you have at least done some basic programming stuff like C or even better the least uh, easiest programming language uh, that I think would be Python. So even if you have the basics in that, this would be much more easier for you. <laughs> so before I start with any of this process, I'd like to ask one question that what is ethical hacking? If you are talking about as to getting into someone's or invading someone's privacy, that is not called as ethical hacking. It's just hacking and hacking can never be ethical. So hacking means to go ahead and gain someone's uh, personal information. And if you uh, define the term as ethical hacking, then ethical means doing it for the right purpose. But when you are going ahead and invading someone's privacy, that is uh, that cannot be considered as ethical, no matter what uh, good you are trying to do. So at that point of time, there was a time when there were a lot of people computer in 1990s and the computers were just came into existence, the, uh, Google just came into existence. People did not knew much about using computers and there were people who used to run programs and there were con artists who used to call people, gather information about their computers or bank accounts over the phone. And at that point of time, the government thought that yes, there is a need for something, some countermeasure so that uh, these people who go ahead and uh, create uh, some kind of let's say chaos or try to cheat people, there needs to be some way so that they can be tackled with. So at that point of time, the government came in this kind of uh, ethical hacking came into existence and they defined it, this term as ethical hacking. So to start with, uh, just before I proceed, let me ask, I'll tell you that ethical hacking is not uh, only necessary for, let's say, for your studies or uh, to go ahead and get some, let's say, to get a job in a company. If you're just doing this for getting a job in a company, then let me tell you that it's not that easy. And even if uh, by the time you see this course, this course may, be, may become a bit outdated because to uh, be in process uh, to gain information about ethical hacking what i could do in this tutorial is that i can I, will, I can go ahead and give you the latest updates that i have but this is as for today and after one week there may be new updates there may be more uh, zero day vulnerabilities and there may be more different kinds of trojans that i won't be able to secure you from now on so and just before I proceed, I would like to tell you that this is just for educational purpose only and anything that would be used for doing malicious purpose, I don't take any responsibilities for that or even my company. So to start with, yeah, that's how it is. So the, in this uh, to whole tutorial of ethical hacking and penetration testing, I would teach you what ethical hacking is, footprinting reconnaissance, that means gathering information from different places. Then we need to go and scan the networks, the IP addresses, the who is, the domain names, and we need to go and get into systems. So getting into a system is far different from what we see in movies. It's not like we just, we can just go ahead and if you see some movies like, let's say, The Matrix, which was very famous, or if you go ahead and see the hackers movie, or if you see any movie in which they show that, okay, this guy's a hacker. So you can see them that they just go ahead, type some random stuff into move into computers or cell phones. And yes, it is hacked. But no, in reality, that is far away from di different. It's not that interesting that you just go ahead and uh, get some terminals like this the one i have on my screen and you just go ahead and type in some stuff and yes you can go to hack no it does not work that like that you need to go ahead and gather information about your specific target each and everything from his personal life to his background what he did to his history what he did to what he is current what did he, what he likes what he does not yes uh, because ethical hack hacking is a term which consists of gathering information and exploiting them on uh, your target but ethical hacking is not only to save uh, yourself or your customer to whom you would go and save from getting uh, let's say getting indicted from the specific hacker it's also about attacking them so let you might be thinking that why do we need to attack someone if you go ahead and try to penetrate someone else's organization then it is uh, unethical right yes that is unethical but if you get the permission 
then it is not so there are some uh, or, or not some i can say that most of the organizations allow penetration testing uh, in their on their firms the reason being that they need to know that if there are some hackers out there and they and so how could they go ahead and save themselves from them uh, so they go ahead and authorize a penetration tester someone like me or someone like you who would become after going uh, through this whole project of mine so once you go through this project you will become uh, some kind of an ethical hacker but you need to keep yourself updated and you need to go ahead and practice continuously and there is no actually stop for this ethical hacking